Hi, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to look at the ledge grab. But before you do, uh, if you want to go to the link below in the description, uh, there's an update package file. Uh, you want to download that, go into your animations folder, select everything and delete everything in the animations folder. Then go to prefabs ladder and delete the ladder. And then to player and delete the player sprite. And then if you want to go to import custom package and uh, hi highlight and click the package you just downloaded. Then click import. Then go to the player. Click on where it says temp player. Go to the new uh, the player into the new sprite sheet and drag the idle in. And now we've got some new animations. So ledge grab. Uh, go to our scripts. Player modules walls and then create a new C sharp script called ledge grab typical Visual Studio does it to me every time I should just close it shouldn't I okay uh, I forgot last time so I'll get rid of the namespacing. Variables. Okay, so this is the first lot of variables you're going to need. Uh, we need the X and Y offsets for the final ledge grab position. And we need X and Y offsets for the player sprite. And then we need a uh, time uh, for the ledge grab animation again we're going to have another co-routine that's going to finish uh, the animation because we're using a state machine okay so then if you just want to copy those out now we'll uh, get the next lot of variables Okay, these are the balls that we need. So we've got a ball just to say we're ledge grabbing. And then we've got a ball hijack controls, which is going to take over the basic ledge grab. I had originally had in the wall slide script, uh, we could take that over as well, but there isn't any need to. So we won't be adding that. But if you want to add that, you can. You'll just add that on the update function. Okay, so if you want to uh, copy these quickly, we go to the next lot of variables. Okay. The last lot of variables, variables we want, uh, references to our collision script, a better jumping script. We don't need the reference to the wall slide anymore. But our wall climb script, player controller, rigid body, and a vector to store the new player positioning. Okay, so if you want to copy those out, we'll uh, get on with getting the components, which is the usual part and start function. Okay, so it's the usual get components. Apart from at the bottom, we're going to set wall climb, disable, ledge grab uh, to whatever hijack controls is, uh, which is always set to false. You could serialize it and disable it, but then you're defeating the whole object of having a ledge grab. So that's always going to be set to true and private. Okay. We don't need an update, 
but what we will do, uh, what we will need is a fixed update method. And what we're going to do is we're going to check if we're touching the wall, but not touching the ledge and we are wall grabbing. If we are, we're going to start the ledge grab. So let's write that method. If you need time now, pause the video and copy this out. Okay, so this is the start ledge grab method. I'll have to zoom out a little bit for this. What we're going to do is exactly the same as we did with our uh, basic ledge grab. We're going to set its transform position X and its uh, position Y plus the player offset. We're going to zero out the velocity. We're going to set can ledge grab to true. We're going to disable all the player movement. We're going to set the gravity scale to zero. And then we're going to start the co-routine. So this is going to basically set the current player's position. So this is where you would adjust the Y offset uh, for your sprite. If you want to adjust the X offset, uh, you can put the X offset in here. But I'm purely doing it on the Y offset. Okay, the next thing we need is the finish ledge grab function. Okay, let us bring that down so you can see it. There's the start ledge grab if you want to pause the video and type that out. So finish ledge grab. We're basically doing exactly the same as we did with the basic ledge grab now. We're trans, uh, transforming. We're setting the players transform to the new uh, position. So if we're facing right, we're moving positive. If we're facing left, we're moving negative. And then we're teleporting the player again. We're then setting ledge grab to false, giving back the player the control and re-enabling the gravity multiplier. So that's pretty much the same as uh, the basic ledge grab, but all we're going to do is wait until we call this function from the co-routine to teleport the player while the animation's going on. So if you want to pause and copy that out. Finally, we need the co-routine. So here's a co-routine. We're just going to, again, it's a simple time and we're just going to wait for it. Then we're just going to call the finish ledge climb method. So if you want to pause and copy that out, we can save that. Attach this to the uh, script. Attach this to the player. We can now jump into the animation state machine. And where it says climbing ladder, you want to rename that to climbing so get rid of the ladder and then change it via Visual Studio like so. We can now enable our wall jump and ledge grab in the animator and I've just neatened all of these up uh, for the GitHub version. Uh, you've probably still got yours in brackets, so just uncomment these two. And I think I set everything else up in here. All jumping for jump, ledge grab for ledge grabbing. Yep, so if you want to make those changes to the animation state machine, save that. Jump back into Unity, press play, no reference. Uh, 
Okay, let me uh, take a look at that. Like a Muppet, what did I say two minutes ago about forgetting to attach the script to the player? Typical numpty. Right, okay. N now let's try that. Click play. It's still not liking it. Okay, let me pause the video and take a quick look. What a numpty again. It was playing when I uh, attached the script to it. So I'll see if I can get this right for the last time. Attach the ledge grab script. Click play. No errors. You see, I shouldn't be doing these late at night. We're climbing up and boom. So, sorry for that little mess up. We've got a wall slide. Wall jump. Wall climb. And ledge grab. Yeah, sorry for that little goof. But it is late at night and uh, I'm a bit tired. So I tend to miss things. Okay, so that's ledge grabbing. Hope you enjoyed the episode and my mess ups. Uh, don't forget a thumbs up. And... Uh, Hopefully I'll see you in Discord.